You quoted Article 1 of the Constitution saying India, that is Bharat, is a union of states as per the Constitution. But if you turn a page back and look at the preamble, it does mention that India is a nation. Uh, Bharat itself is one of the oldest surviving civilizations of the world. And the term finds its origin in the Vedas. So we have a really old civilization. So Chanakya, even Chanakya, when he interacted with the students in Takshashila, he made it clear to them that they might belong to different Mahajanpats, but ultimately they belong to a nation that is Bharat. Adi Shankar Acharya, he said, yeah. <laughs> 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 10 seconds, 10 seconds. One second. Did he use the word nation? He, he said, you belong to a Rashtra. Rashtra is, uh, you know, the Sanskrit. Rashtra is kingdom. Rashtra, no. It's a Sanskrit name for a nation. So, nation, they were, nation is a, a, the word nation, right, is a Western concept. So, so I'm, when I talk about nation, I don't just talk about a political entity because we've had these uh, experiments across the world. You had USSR, you had Yugoslavia, you had the experimentation with the United Arab Republic. So unless nations have a strong socio-cultural and emotional bonding and a composite cult culture, a constitution cannot make a nation. Nations make constitutions. My question, my question is, don't you think as a political leader, your idea of India is not only flawed and incorrect, but also destructive because it attempts to whitewash a history of a thousand of thousands of years. No, actually, I don't think so.